Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math all on pedal algebra problem. So here we have b multiplied by b multiplied by b divided by b plus b plus b and it is equals to 3. So we solve this problem for the values of b. So this is very interesting problem and I can solve this problem in a very smart way. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, the very first step we are going to do is here uh, first you see here the exponent of uh, all of these three terms are one and we apply here the exponent law you know that if we have x to the power of m multiplied by y uh, multiplied by x to the power of n if you have two numbers these are multiplied by each other but its bases are same then uh, we add its exponents and it, its exponents will become m plus n so uh, according to this rule uh, here the bases of these three values are same so we add its exponents it will be written as b to the power of 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by here we will take common b and we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 and this is equals to 3. So further in the next step uh, we have this is b to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 becomes 3 and it is divided by b multiplied by 3 and this is equals to 3. Uh, so further in the next step we need to apply here another exponent law you know that if you have x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n uh, so here you see that if uh, these two bases are same then we uh, subtract the exponent of numerator term uh, to the uh, denominator term to the numerator term and it will be written as x to the power of m minus n so according to this rule uh, here we just uh, you see here the exponent of this term is 1 and we move this one to the upsides and it will be written as b to the power of 3 minus 1 divided by 3 and this is equals to 3. So this equation implies that we have b to the power of 3 minus 1 becomes 2 and here you see that this 3 is multiple this 3 is divided by here but when you move this 3 to the right hand side it is multiplied by this 3 and it will be written as 3 multiplied by 3 so now in the next step we obtain here b square equals to 3 times of 3 becomes 9 uh, and now here in order to find the value of uh, b uh, we need a uh, here you have uh, two methods to solve uh, this equation so this is the pure quadratic equation in b variable in order to find the values of b uh, we have two methods the first method is you can just take directly the square root on both of the sides and you easily get the value of b and the second method is that you can apply here the algebraic formula that is a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so you have two choices uh, please do that choice which you like uh, but here i can just take the square root on both of these sides so that when you take square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form you see here this two and the square root are gone and we obtain here b is equals to when you take square root on both of the sides you just apply the plus minus sign and you know that the square root of nine equals to three so further in the next step uh, here uh, we have the two solution sets of the given equation are b1 equals to 3 and b2 equals to minus 3 so these are the two real solutions of the given equation uh, and this is the our final answer and now here in the next step we will uh, just verify these two solutions uh, is these two, these two solutions satisfied our given question statement or not for this we need to first copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is b multiplied by b multiplied by b divided by b plus b plus b it is equals to 3 so when uh, here we first verify the first value that is b1 equals to 3 so now we need to substitute this value of b1 on both of the sides uh, 
uh, on the left hand side of this equation so when you put this value here it will be written as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 plus 3 plus 3 and it is equals to 3 and now here in the next step we have uh, uh, here you see that this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 multiplied by 3 and in the denominator term we need to take common 3 and we get the remaining values are 1 plus 1 plus 1 and this is equals to 3 or not and that's the our claim and now here in the next step we have uh, here we you see that this 3 and this 3 are gone and we obtain here this 9 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 and we check that is this whole is equals to 3 or not okay so further in the next step you see here these two terms are cancelled by each other this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and you get here 3 equals to 3 so this 3 equals to 3 shows that the value of b1 equals to 3 satisfied the given question statement and now here in the next step we need to verify the second value of a given equation the second root is b2 equals to minus 3 and now uh, here we uh, just verify this value uh, so we can put this value in the left hand side of the given equation so that our given equation is written as uh, b multiplied by b multiplied by b divided by b plus b plus b equals to 3 okay so here we put this value in this equation and you get minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 divided by minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and we check that is this equals to 3 or not so in the next step uh, here you multiply minus 3 with minus 3 you get minus minus plus and 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and we multiply it with minus 3 and here we need to take common minus 3 and we get the remaining values are 1 plus 1 plus 1 and it is equals to 3 and you see here this minus 3 and this minus 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get 9 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and we check that is this equals to 3 or not uh, and you see here when you cancel out these terms you get 3 3 is a 9 and we have a 3 is equals to 3 so this shows that uh, the second value of uh, uh, b is also satisfied our given question statement uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.